Hey, what's up? Sir Emerald here. This will be just a short little video to show how to replace this Mercedes remote with a new undamaged Mercedes remote. So as you can see here, over time this has uh, worn out and the remote still functions. Just the little buttons have worn out on it. So if you don't know already, to get to the battery compartment, you slide this little lever over and pull out your emergency key okay and then right in here you'll see this little gray um, sliding box oh look how dirty that is inside there so you see this little gray button right there and you'll take your key and stick it in here and this little button actually slides over see that so you'll push your key in there and you press it to push that little button in. And as you're doing that, you'll stick your finger down here and just separate this as such. So once you get it separated a little bit, it'll, it'll pull open the rest of the way, okay? And this is where your batteries are for uh, the remote. And it uses two CR2025 batteries. And in case you don't know how to um, replace those, there's a little spring latch right there. And you just press that little latch in, which will allow this to lift up on the other side. And just move that out of the way. And you can push your little batteries out like such. Okay. And right there, it shows you that the positives go up. So if you were switching out your batteries, that's how you would do that. Put the negatives on the bottom and the positives on the top. And then just push this right back into the little slot right there. Difficult to do this watching the camera instead of watching the work. There we go. Just like that. Also, this is interchangeable. Um, you can use this to color code which key is which if you should happen to have multiple um, Mercedes at your disposal. They have gray and red and whatnot. You change this little switch out right there. It just goes right in there. So on to this piece though this is just held on by this little white uh, piece at the top of that circuit board and I say top because that's where the buttons are and all you have to do is stick something in there just to pry this apart right here just enough because along the top ridge of this is a little uh, latch that's holding that in place and you just want to just break that apart and 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 you want to be very careful you don't want to break your circuit board here so you, it doesn't take much effort really just to loosen this up okay and then once you have it loosened all right this this will just will slide out it's got two little pins you can see there's one little white one there and one little white one here that go through the circuit board. And you don't, you're not wanting to break those off because that's what keeps this piece to the circuit board. You're just wanting to attach, this, to attach the circuit board from the, the, uh, the key fob housing itself, which is right along here is where these two little tabs are. And once you, once you separate those, you know, 
with a little bit of wiggling and finessing, it'll, it'll come right out. There you go. See that? There's nothing else holding it in there. And then we can just pull this out like such. And here's your circuit board. And here's this little piece. And you'll, you'll, you'll immediately notice that this can literally lift right off of the, the circuit board at this point. And you can see that it's only attached by those two little nubs right there. Okay. So you just, you know, of course, put this on here. Right. And then just slide it into your new one or your replacement piece. So as long as your key fob is functioning, okay, you can buy these used or brand new and off the internet and then just replace it with your existing key fob board now. And look at the inside of that. That's also pretty rusty. Interesting. So anyhow, um, it, it'll just rock in there. Now, if you're afraid that it's not going to sit in place, I wouldn't be too concerned about it because truthfully, the shape of this battery holder is going to press it in place. But if you're really concerned about it, a little piece of hot glue maybe would work there, a little, little drop of Elmer's glue, anything just to um, cause a barrier to keep it from coming out. I wouldn't mess with it, to tell you the truth. This is going to hold it in place. And the way that it goes in, of course, is in that manner. So I'm just going to put this in here like such. And there you go. It just presses or slides right into place. And then put your key fob back in there. Or your key back in the key fob. And there you go. And we should get a light here when we press these buttons. There it is. Unlock. Trunk. And lock. And of course, panic. There you are. Thank you very much for watching. And this will work for this style of a Mercedes-Benz remote.